Jina la Bwana lipewe sifa. Tashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya siku hii ya leo. This is another day. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made in order for us to rejoice and to be glad in it. Na tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu Bwana hakika ameifanya siku hii na ili tuweze kufurahia wema wake. Tunapomtukuza na kumshukuru kwa sababu yeye ni mwaminifu na tena yeye ni warehema katika jina la Kristo wa Nazareth. Nataka tusome neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu katika kitabu cha Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 36. Kitabu cha Wahebrania 10 mstari wake wa 36. The Bible says you need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God you will receive what he has promised. Maana mnahitaji saburi ili kwamba mkisha kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu mpate ile ahadi. The God we believe in is a God of promise. He is, he is not only a God of promises but he is a promise keeper. Hiyo ni jambo ambalo tunapaswa kuelewa ya kwamba he does not only make promise but he keeps them. For you to receive the promises that God has promised you, there is something that you are expected to have. There is something that you are expected or you are, you are supposed to, to do. Na hili dilo jambo ambalo bibiria katika wa Ibrania kumi mstari wa theradhina sita, imeita persevere. You need to have what we call perseverance. Na hili tuweze kuelewa the word perseverance as I continue with my message. Neno hili ambalo bibirina sema mnaitaji saburi. Saburi ni nini? Kama tunavyo weza kuona maana yake katika runinga yetu. To persevere is to persist steadfastly. Ni kufuatilia pasipa kukoma ama pasipa kuachiria. In pursuit, in pursuit of a undertaking, task, journey, or goal, even if hindered by distraction, difficulty, obstacles, or discouragement. Ni saburi, ni hari ya kufuatilia, ni hari ya kuweza kuzingatia, ni hari ya kutovunjika moyo, ni hari ya kutokoma kufuatilia ama kutenda kufuatilia jambo ambalo umekuwa ukirifuatilia jambo ama kusudi ambalo umekuwa ukitaka kutekeleza wajibu ambao unataka kutekeleza pasipo kuvunjika moyo hata kama utakutana na kuvunjika moyo ama utakutana na vipingamizi ama utakutana na mazito na ama kitu ambacho chaweza kukudistract katika maisha yako na kwa hivyo na ili uweze kupokea ahadi ya Mungu maana Mungu wetu hufanya ahadi yeye anataburika kama Mungu wa ahadi kutoka kitabu cha mwanzo hadi kitabu cha ufunuo he is a god of promise he have made thousand and thousand promises and that we know him as a promise a maker not only a promise maker but he is also a promise keeper jina la bwana lipewa sifa and this morning ninataka niweze kusema ya kwamba god does not make a promise that he does not fulfill jambo la kwanza ni kwamba mungu anapotoa ahadi ni kwamba yeye anatoa ahadi na ili uweze aweze kutimiza katika jina la Kristo because god when he make a promise he will never possess that promise if you don't learn how to persevere wakati mungu ameweza kuweka ahadi hautaweza kuona ahadi hiyo ikitimia katika maisha yako kama hautakuwa na kitu ambao tunaita saburi katika jina la Kristo wa Nazareth so in order for us to understand about perseverance or how to persevere i want us to look at the story in the book of Joshua chapter 6 from verse 1 up to verse 20 Joshua chapter 6 from verse 1 up to verse 20 there we are going to see an account of the children of the Israelite under the new commander in chief who had taken over from the man of God by the name Moses. By this time, 
Moses was, was had died. Yeye alikuwa amekufa kitambo. Na wakati alipokufa kitambo, kuna kitu ambacho Mungu alipofanya, akamuinua Joshua na ili aweze kupokeza na kuridhisha wana wa Israeli katika ahadi aliyokuwa ameweza kuifanya katika jeshi la Kristo wa Nazareth. So we see now the Israelite had come out from the wilderness. They had come out from the land of bondage. They were in the wilderness for a period of 40 years. Inaitwa 40 wandering years. Maisha miaka 40 wana wa Israeli walioizunguka katika jangwa. Na saa hii wametoka katika jangwa na sasa wanataka wako katika inchi ya ahadi. Wameingiza miguu yao katika inchi ya ahadi na hapa ndio tunataka tuweze kuona ya kwamba Mungu alichowaahidi ya kwamba watapata ahadi kufika katika inchi ya Kana tunaona kitu moja ambacho Mungu aliweza kufanya aliahidi na akatimiza now we find the Israelite in the land of promise bwana atukuze sana but there is something that i want you to understand in the promise that god has made kwetu sisi tunakutana na kitu tunachoita upinzani mwingi we face a lot of opposition But you should not stop as a result of facing or encountering opposition, difficulty, obstacles or whatever you may encounter in your life. Because obstacles, difficulties will be there. Bwana atukuze sana. But I have brought a message of hope to you. Ya kwamba you need to persevere in order for you to receive the promise of God. Perseverance is not a simple task. Kama wanadamu wako na midhari yote wanaitumia na midhari yote they normally use every kind ya, 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 ya neno ambalo tunaweza kusema ya kwamba msamiati wote lakini kitu ambao tunaita perseverance ama saburi inakuwa ni shida maana saburi sio jambo rahisi katika maisha yetu kutendeka ama kutimiza katika jeshi la Yesu Kristo the theme of my message this morning I want to share with you the message that God has put in my heart ya kwamba do not stop at 6 do not stop at 6 usikome wakati utakapofika sita haleluya amen usikome ukifika sita haleluya amen so we are going to read the story The Bible says that now Jericho in the book of Joshua chapter 6 from verse 1. Now Jericho was tightly shut up because of the Israelites. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And then God kwa sababu tunaweza kufikiria ya kwamba sisi ndio wa kwanza kupata kitu tunaita rock down. <laughs> uh, uh, rock down was there even in the Bible. The Bible says that the city of Jericho just like the city of Nairobi was locked up and the bible says that no one went out and no one came in as nairobians we know what joshua chapter 6 verse 1 mean in our life this is what we have experienced almost now it is three months hakuna kutoka na hakuna kuingia na biblia inasema ya kwamba katika mstari wa pili kuwa mji ambao hakuna kuingia na hakuna kutoka mstari wa pili biblia inasema then the lord said to joshua see i have delivered jericho into your hands along with its king and its fighting men hallelujah verse three, the bible says march around the city once with all the armed men do this for six days have seven priests carrying trumpets of ram horns in front of the ark then on the seventh day march around the city seven times with the priest blowing the trumpets when you hear them sound a long blast on the trumpet have all the people give you a loud uh, shout then the wall of the city will collapse and the people will go up 
every man straight in. So Joshua son of Nun called the priest and said to them, Take up the ark of the covenant of the Lord and have seven priests carry trumpet in front of it. And he ordered the people advance, march around the city with the armed guard going ahead of the ark of the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 8. When Joshua had spoken to the people, the seven priests carrying the seven trumpets before the Lord went forward, blowing their trumpets and the ark of the Lord's covenant followed them. The armed guard marched ahead of the priest, Shobro, uh, who blew the trumpet, and the rear guard followed the ark. All this time, the trumpets were sounding. Verse 10, but Joshua had commanded the people, do not give a war cry, do not raise your voice, do not say a word until the day I tell you, shout, then shout. So he had the ark of the Lord carried around the, around the city, circling it. Then the people returned to camp and spent the night there. Joshua got up the array the next morning, and the priest took up the ark of the Lord. The seven priests carrying the seven trumpets went forward, marching before the ark of the Lord and drawing the trumpet. The armed men went ahead of them, and the rear guard followed and uh, uh, followed the ark of the Lord while the trumpet kept sounding. So on the second day, they marched around the city once and returned to the camp. They did this for six days. Hallelujah. The reason as to why I have read that long portion of a scripture is for us to understand the theme of my message. Do not stop at six. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Joshua was given a promise by God that it is you. Wewe ndiye utakaye waridhisha wana wa Israeli katika inchi ya ahadi. This time round they are now in the city. Na tunapowapata in the city what we are seeing ni kwamba sasa wanaingiza miguu yao in the city. But in the city in the, the land of Canaan there were so many obstacles that they needed to face and even to overcome. One of it, they had to cross the Jordan River. Na bibiri inasema wakavuka katika mtu wa Yoradan. Kitu ya piri sasa wakakuta mji unao ito wa ai. Wakaweza na wakapingana nao. Kitu ya tatu sasa wakakutana na mji ambao unaitwa wa Jericho. Hallelujah. Chinda la bora lipewa sifa. Nataka kuzungumzia mtu ambaye ananisikiza mahali popote yalipo. Ya kwamba kuna ahadi ambazo Mungu alizozifanya katika maisha yetu. Na alipozifanya ahadi hizo katika maisha yetu, kuna mambo ama inawezekana mambo ambayo Mungu aliyoahidi juu ya maisha yetu yanaonekana kana kwamba yako mbali kutimia na kana kwamba yana ugumu wa kuweza kutimia. Joshua chapter 6 verse 1 inaosema ya kwamba ahadi ambayo Mungu aliyoweza kuambia wana wa Israeli ama kumwambia Joshua kiongozi huyu ni ya kwamba wewe utaweza kuridhi na you are going to make the Israelite possess the land. Biblia inasema ya kwamba tazama nimeutia Yeriko katika mkono wako na wafande wake that verse 1 nasema verse 1 inasema basi yaliko ulikuwa umefungwa kabisa kwa sababu ya wana wa Israeli hapana mtu aliyetoka wala hapana mtu aliyeingia na biblia inasema mstari wa pili Mungu anakuja kutoa ahadi he comes and he affirm Joshua by telling him that as much as the city of Jericho has been completely shut up, it is under a lockdown. I have given you that city in your hand, together with its men and its king. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Why? To not Hongaria and Nohili. Nikanakomba, verse 2, not verse 1. Hazi ya damani. Maana verse 2 inasema ni mekupea mji huu. Uweze kushika. Na uweze kukanyaga. Na uweze kuteka nyara. Lakini mustari wa kwanza bibiri inasema mji ya mbao mungu wanaupeana kwa Yoshua. Ni mji ya mbao mefungwa. Hakuna mtu ambaye angeweza kuingia wala kutoka. Listen to me my brother. The city of Jericho. Haikuwa mji ya mbao likuwa ni mkubwa sana. Ile kitu ambacho kilikuwa ni kikubwa kwa mji wa Yeriko ni ukuta wa Yeriko. Hallelujah. 
The only thing that was bigger it was not the city. Who are Muji according to Ukifanya research with other Kuana? The Muji Abonga Uzunguka within half an hour. Umeweza kutoka from one corner to the other. But as much as you could walk across that city in one half an hour, Kunashida, Mana in a server number, there was war, tall walls to conquer. And Zote Ambazo Mungu, and the other Kuzifanya Jew and my Shayetu, Lilazima Kuza Kujua and Pomba, Kuna Villa above your bona and Itaji to Eza Kuana Subira. The Subira, in the way the Kufanya had his Zitimie, Hata Kama, I had his Zimazungu and Ukuta Kama Wayaliko. Mana Muji Wayaliko, the Ahadi Moja about Mungu and Weza Kufanya, Mutaweza, Nitapeana Mijiote. Na wafalme, na waku, na watu huwa, huwa mji kwenu But we see, mji ule ulikuwa na ukuta Mkubwa sana, mrefu sana Ambao walihitaji waweze ku overcome Kadiga jina su kristu wa naserevi And the only way they could overcome that wall God gave Joshua the instruction Ya kwamba you have to prepare your people Tayarisha watu wa vita Tayarisha makuhani saba Hawa ndiyo watakao ongoza Asanduku la agano Mbele ya sanduku la, 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 la makuhani Ni wale watu ambao wanaitwa Majemedari, the Amish So the first people ambao walikuwa wanaongoza huwa mji Walikuwa majemedari Ambao walikuwa wamevaa siraha zote Na tunaona ya kwamba walifuatiwa na makuhani saba Na, watu, na kitu ya tatu Tunaona ya kwamba kilikuwa nyuma yao ni The Ark of Covenant in this case, the Ark of Covenant symbolized the presence of God. Hallelujah. Amen. As much as God made his promise, one thing that he made sure is that for you, for that promise to be fulfilled, his presence, lazima iweze kuwa mahali pare kadiga chila su krisu. Aadi za mungu haziwezi kutimia pasipo uwepo wa mungu. Na jambo mboja bora mungu tunamuona na wafanya hapa Aliandaa mus Joshua Haka muambia ya kwamba Muji ni meuwepeana Fanya mambo yako Na mini tafanya mambo yangu na kuhakikisha Ni mekupatia ushindi unao utazamia kadiga uchina su krisu Kuna watu ambao wako mahali hapa Ambao mungu waliweza kuwahidi Ahadi kama jinsi alivyo ahidi Wana wa Israeli kupitia kwa Yoshua Kuna mamba ba mungu wame tuhakikishia ameyapeana kwetu. Kuna mamba ba mungu wame tuhakikishia ni yetu. Yaweza kana umekuwa wewe ni mgonjwa. Na umekuwa kutoka kwa hospitali moja hadi hospitali ingine. Yaweza kana umekuwa mfanyi biyashara. Biyashara umekuwa ukiifanya na nikada kwamba umefika amara ya sita. Maana bibiria tumesoma walizunguka mara moja kila siku kwa siku sita. Hallelujah. Na ninataka uweze kufikiria habari ya wana wa Israeli. Ya kwamba Joshua hakuambia watazunguka marangapi. Hiyo ni ilikuwa ni siri yake. He never told them how many times they were expected to go around the city of Jericho. Lakini aliweza kuambia kesho nataka tukutane tuzunguke mji mjivae siraha na musiweze kufanya mambo matatu. Nisisikia mukiimba nyimbo za vita Jambo la piri Akawambia ya kwamba Nisisikia mukiongeana moja na mwingine <laughs> Wala atikuze sana Sasa nataka uweze kujiweka kwa viatu vya huyu Hawa watu ambao Mungu amepeana agizo kupitia kwa Joshua Ya kwamba hamuta ongea lolote Kwa nini aliwaambia wasi ongea? Kwa sababu yeye alikuwa ni mmoja wapo wa the 12 spies who were sent in the land of Canaan. Na alijua midomo yetu hile shida inaweza ikaleta. Kwa sababu walienda wakiwa watu kumi na wawiri. Joshua na Caleb, how ndiyo waliokuwa na positive mind. Lakini the 10 other spies because they were 12 in number. They had a very negative attitude of we cannot but Joshua had, uh, together with Caleb, they had an attitude of what we call, we can. Hallelujah. So, the 12th, the 10 came with a report. 
ya kwamba it is impossible to overcome the land of Canaan they used their their, their mouth kuuza uoga kwa wana wa Israeli kufanya wana wa Israeli wajawe na uoga kiwango ya kwamba hata kama Mungu alikuwa amewaahidi ahadi hiyo wao ilikuwa ni kama kizungumkuti wakaambia watu haiwezekani tuliona majitu muji tumeuona tumeona mizabibu tumeona mambo yote na hata mito tumeona hata asari na hata maziwa hata walikuja na baadhi ya mambo hayo lakini tunasema ya kwamba nataka uanze kuanza safari pamoja na hawa watu ya kwamba huwa muji wakasema hauwezekani kwa hivyo Joshua the first thing that he told them in, the, in, the, in, the, in Joshua chapter 6 verse 10 the bible said Joshua had commanded the people do not give a cry a war cry do not raise your voice do not say a word until the day i tell you to shout hallelujah Amen. now tutembee pamoja na wewe katika kuzunguka mji wa Yariko watu wamejipanga majeshi ndio wameongoza wako na vita wako na mishale na wako na uta na kila mikuki ya kuweza kushambulia watu ambao wamecharge wamekula vizuri kwa sababu wanajua wanaenda kushambulia adui zao hawa watu wanaambiwa sasa kile tutafanya zungukeni mji mara ya kwanza maana leo tutaenda kuzunguka huo mji wakazunguka mji siku ya kwanza na kile walichokipata jioni wakifikiria ya kwamba wataambiwa kesho tuamukie na ili tuweze kushinda maadui yetu Joshua anawaambia kesho tuamuke maana tutakutana tena hapa katika chini ya Kristo nataka uweze kufikiria hawa majeshi walizunguka mara ya kwanza wakarudi nyumbani mara ya pili wakarudi nyumbani mara ya tatu wakarudi nyumbani mara ya nne na hata ya tano na ya sita wakarudi nyumbani mimi nataka uweze kujiweka kwa viatu ya hawa wanajeshi ambao walijulikana kuwa hodari katika kuvuleta ushindi kwa wana wa Israeli na mimi nikawa najiangalia na kuona wanajeshi hawa wakikejaliwa nyumbani na wake zao wanaulizwa habari ya kushinda wanajeshi anasema tumeshinda vizuri mmeweza kuuteka mji hapana tulizunguka mji mkazunguka mji mkifanya nini tukiwa tumenyamaza maana tuliambiwa tusioge mkafanya nini jambo lingine tulipomaliza mara ya kwanza kuuzunguka tukaambiwa twende nyumbani tuamukie siku ya pili sasa anangojea siku ya pili anaulizwa report leo mmeuweza muji anasema hapana hata mimi nashindwa ni nini ambao tunafanyishwa kazi hii kuzunguka na tarubeta hawa makuhani wanapiga na sisi hakuna kazi tunafanya tumecharge na ili tuweze kuangusha mji anaulizwa nyumbani umeweza kushinda hata kuua hata mtu mmoja hapana tumezunguka muji mara ya pili na tukaambiwa twende nyumbani bwana atikuze sana mara ya tatu na mara ya nne hata ilipofika mara ya sita ninawaona wanajeshi waliokuwa wamechoka haleluya wanajeshi ambao walikuwa wamevunjika moyo wakimfuata na wakichukua maagizo kwa mtu ambaye hajulikani kama kichwa chake kimeruka kazi yake ni kuambia tuzunguke hakuna kitu kibaya kama kuambiwa ufanye jambo na hauambiwi jambo hilo utalifanya mpaka wapi hakuna kitu kibaya kama kuambiwa goja jambo na haujui utaigoja mpaka siku gani ama masaa gani nimekuja kuweza kuhimiza mtu katika jina la Yesu ninajua kuna mambo ambayo unamwamini Mungu juu yake kama vile wana wa Israeli walivyoamini ya kwamba kuna ushindi na kuna mambo yatakayotendeka tukizunguka huo mji lakini angalia Mungu aliambia Joshua aambie wana wa Israeli wazunguke mji mara sita kila siku moja mara moja kila siku wanazunguka mara moja for six days wakazunguka mji huo mara sita na ukuta haukubomoka why six because six is the number of man bwana atukuze sana sita hii ni namba ya wanadamu na mwanadamu kile ambacho anafanya ako na ako na 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 na, 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 na yake ya kwamba baada ya wewe kufika mwisho wako Mungu alitaka akuje aingilie mara ya saba maana mara ya saba ilihitajika wafanye mambo kitofauti ki, 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 wasifanye mambo kikawaida 
wasifanye mambo vile ambavyo wamezoea na mimi nimekuja kuhimiza mtu ya kwamba kuna mambo ambayo utayafanya ambayo sio ya kawaida do not stop at six maana walizunguka mji mara sita na kuna kitu ambacho kilikuwa kimetendeka mji haukuonyesha matumaini ya kuweza kushindi ukuta haukuonyesha dalili ya kuweza kuanguka lakini Mungu akamwambia Joshua ambia hawa watu wazunguke siku ya saba the number seven is the number of God it is the number of perfection the moment Mungu unapoingilia your situation nimekuja kukuambia ya kwamba your situation will have to change amen God allowed them to go through six times the number of man waweza ku exhaust their strength waweza ku exhaust their knowledge waweza ku exhaust whatever they were they had but i thank god because god had given joshua had given them a clear instruction what was you always kuongeana naona kama wakiwa wangeruhusiwa waongee kuna mambo mengi ambayo yangeweza kuharibika maana perfection ya mungu haingeweza kukamilika walikuwa na mambo mengi ya kusema kuzunguka mahali pamoja na hakuna kitu wameachieve lakini the seven time biblia inasema wakaambiwa now you have to do things in a different way the six days ambazo ziko pass you went through the wall every day one time but on the seventh day you have to go through the wall seven times bwana tukio sana kwa hivyo wakazunguka mara ya kwanza Siku ya saba walizunguka mara ya kwanza tena wakaenda mara ya pili wakaenda mara ya tatu wakaenda mara ya nne mpaka mara ya saba jina la Bwana lipewa sifa Amen. na wakati walipozunguka mara ya saba haleluya ukuta biblia inasema ya kwamba ukaporomoka na wakaweza kupenya wakapata upenyo maana Mungu ameingilia katika hali zao katika jina la Kristo kuna watu wanao nisikiza na kunitazama mahali popote popote wanaponitazama kuna mambo ambayo umekuwa ukiamini kwa sababu ya Mungu umegojea lakini muda wa kugojea unaonekana nikana kwamba unaenda kuyoyoma ulitarajia Mungu akuponye na umejaribu hospitali moja hadi hospitali nyingine lakini uponyaji wako hauja kuja nimekuja kukutia moyo nikuambie Don't stop at six. Kuna mara ya saba ambao lazima utazunguka. Wewe uliweka biashara lakini biashara ikaanguka na ukarusha mikono ukasema sitaweza kufanya biashara tena. Don't stop at six. Kuna mara ya saba katika jina la Yesu. Wewe uliweza kutafuta kuwa na mtoto lakini ukaweza kugojea muda kama alivyogojea Ibrahim. Ibrahim alikojea muda wa miaka 25 lakini hakuweza kukoma because there is always the seven time katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. I thank God because he is have the seven number, the seven digit ni namba ya Mungu. Namba na ili aweze kupona. Aliambiwa ya kwamba ajirushe ndani ya mto wa Yordani mara saba. Alijirusha mara ya kwanza hakuweza kupona ukoma. Mara ya pili na ya tatu mpaka alipojitumbukiza mara ya saba kuna mambo ambayo yaliyotendeka katika jina la Yesu. Nimekuja kukupa moyo ya kwamba usi, usikose ku, 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 usikata tamaa kumtumainia Mungu kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo unataka kufanyie. Ni vizuri uweze kujua there is always the seven times katika jina la Yesu. Uliweka biashara ikaporomoka na ukaona kana kwamba hautaweza kusimama tena na yawezekana ulikuwa umekopa hizo pesa. Don't stop at the six because there is always the seven times maana walipozunguka the seven times the bible says that urkuta uliporomoka na wakaweza kupenya na wakaweza kushinda na wakauteka katika jina la Yesu yawezekana umegojea bwana akupiganie yawezekana umegojea bwana akutetee na yawezekana umekuwa ukitafuta na ukiamini Mungu kwa sababu ya jambo fulani don't stop at the six Haleluya. There is always the seven times katika jina la Yesu. Mara ya saba kuna upenyo wako. Mara ya saba kuna ushindi wako. Mara ya saba kuna hali ya kufanikiwa kwako. Mara ya saba kuna hali ya mambo ambayo yatakuwa ni ushuhuda mpya kwako katika jina la Yesu. Don't stop at six because there is always the seven times katika jina la Yesu all that we was within your power you have exhausted all avenues and yet nothing seems working remember there is the god of the seventh time 
ambaye alipoinuka mambo yakaweza kutendeka katika china ya Kristo umezunguka hauoni matokeo wakazunguka mara ya kwanza ya pili mpaka ya sita hakuna matokeo lakini walipofanya mara ya saba ukuta uliporomoka katika china la Yesu wakati huu tunagojea na tuna matarajio makubwa ya kwamba tunataka Bwana aingilie hali katika maisha yetu na nikana kwamba watu wengi wamefika mwisho wao maana wako in the sixth time they have stopped at six na wanafikiria ya kwamba nothing is going to work for their for, for their life but i have come to tell you don't stop at six because there is always the seven times kariga jina la Yesu na ili mambo haya yatendeke ni lazima imani yako uiunganishe na Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo ambaye anatupeaga ushindi ambaye the bible says ya kwamba who give us victory on daily basis katika jina la Kristo the bible says so in the book of 1 Corinthians inasema ya kwamba kuna Mungu ambaye anatupeana anapeanaga ushindi katika jina la Kristo wa Nazareth inasema hivi 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57 First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 57 This is what the Bible say But thanks be to God he give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ Lakini Mungu naashukuriwe atupae kushinda kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo Hallelujah Ushindi wako umekaribia na vizuri uweze kujua ya kwamba don't stop at six because there is always the seven num- the seven times in the name of Jesus. Nataka kuomba pamoja na wewe yawezekana you have not submitted you have not surrendered your life to Jesus. Nataka uweze kurudia maombi haya maana haijadishi mambo ambayo umekuwa ukiyafanya. Kuna Mungu ambaye anasamehe na ambaye anatuita kwake. Biblia inasema kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu alimtuma mwanawe wa pekee hata uh, na ile yeyote atakaye muamini ya sipote bali awe na uzima wa milele. Nataka nikuhimiza mpendo wa mahali popote unaponitazama ya kwamba unaweza kuweka imani yako ndani ya Yesu Kristo. Maana hivyo ndivyo Biblia inavyosema katika Warumi kumi msari wa tisa ya kwamba ukiweza kukiri Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo kwa kinywa chako na moyoni mwako uamini ya kwamba alikufa kwa ajili yako utaweza kuokolewa. Kama uko hapa na ungependa kuokoka aomba ombi hili pamoja nami katika jina la Yesu. Sema Bwana Yesu mimi ni mwenye dhambi na ita jim samaa nimetubu dhambi zangu na kuomba ya kwamba bwana utanisamea na utanirejesha niinue na unifanya mwana wako kupitia kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo asante kwa sababu ya kuniokoa unisaidia kufuata njia zako na maagizo yako katika jina Yesu Kristo nimeokoka na hata kuamini baba ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya wapendo hao wanaonitazama ninajua ya kwamba wako na mahitaji tofauti na wako na mahitaji baribari walio wagonjwa nina nena neno la uponyaji juu ya maisha yao ya kwamba wewe tuna kutabua kama Jehova Rava Mungu ambaye anatuponya katika jina la Yesu. Umetuambia tusikome mara ya sita lakini tujue kuna mara ya saba ambao lazima tujaribu tena katika jina la Yesu. Na waombea hawa ambao walijaribu, wakajaribu mara ya kwanza ya pili na hata ya sita wamefika mahali pale wamerusha mikono. Asani kwa sababu Bwana haukuweza kuambia Waisraeli wazunguke mara sita lakini uliwaambia wazunguke mara ya saba. Na walipozunguka mara saba siku ya saba ukuta wa yaliko ukabomoka katika jina la Yesu. Kila ukuta ambao umeinuka juu ya maisha ya watu wako, aidha katika jamii, katika huduma, katika maisha yao, ninaomba ukuta huo ukaporomoke na ukaanguke, maana tumesimama juu ya ahadi ya neno lako. Katika kitabu hicho cha Wakorinto wa kwanza 15 mstari wa hamsina saba ya kwamba ashukuliwe Bwana atupaye ushindi katika Kristo Yesu. Pea hawa wazee ushindi wa mama hawa na hata vijana ushindi katika maisha yao, katika biashara zao na katika mambo yote wanayoyafanya uwafanikishe na ninaamurisha kila ukuta uliosimama mbele zao maana tumesimama siku yetu na mara yetu ya saba kwa sababu hatutakoma tutaenda mara ya saba ya kwamba kila ukuta uliosimama dhidi yetu ukaweza kuanguka katika jina la Yesu jitukuze mwana wa Mungu maana wewe ni bwana katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimeomba na hata kuamini amen bwana aweze kuwabariki watende mema remember do not stop at six keep on pursuing keep on walking keep on marching because there is always the seven times my name are pastor joseph garoya from full gospel churches of kenya full gospel gedurai na watakia baraka ya bwana endelea kuzunguka maana kuna mara ya saba katika jina la kristo god bless you so much and keep you safe
moving in our midst I worship you I worship you You are here 